Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see various performance parameter of sample and hold circuit so that we can measure or we can judge the performance of sample and hold circuit by using these parameters. So let's begin with the topic. We know that in case of sample and hold circuit, the circuit having two modes of operation, sample mode and hold mode. This mode of operation depends on position of switch controlled by a control voltage VC. So, to understand the performance parameters of the sample and hold circuit, we need to consider certain parameters. And for that purpose, we need to consider the diagram first. So, this is how the sample and hold circuit output looks like. The sampling period during which the capacitor will charge to the instantaneous value and holding period during which the capacitor will hold the charge for a certain period of time. That means until the next sampling cycle. So if we consider the actual response, then we need to consider the certain parameters and the parameters are the first parameter is nothing but acquisition time. The acquisition time is nothing but the time required by capacitor to reach or to hold the sampled value of the input signal. The acquisition time is required to be as small as possible and ideally it should be zero. But practically it is not possible. As the input is applied, the capacitor should charge very quickly so that it can reach to the level of instantaneous value of input voltage. And that time period is called as acquisition time. The second parameter that we need to consider for measurement of performance is nothing but aperture time. Ideally, as soon as the sample and hold circuit receives the hold command, the circuit should stop following any change in the input signal. But practically, this is not happen. Even after receiving the holding command, the sample and hold circuit follows changes in the input signal for a short period of time. And that time period is called as aperture time. The aperture time is mainly because of the propagation delay from driver circuit and propagation delay from switch circuit. The first parameter that means the acquisition time, it depends upon RC time constant and maximum output voltage. Whereas the second parameter that means the aperture time is depend upon the propagation delay. Now let's see then another parameter that is used for performance measurement is nothing but aperture uncertainty. Aperture time is not constant. It depends upon level of the sampling signal. So as the level of sample signal is get changed, the aperture time is also get changed. And that is called as aperture uncertainty. Because of the aperture uncertainty, it is difficult to compensate the aperture time. Now, the next parameter that we need to consider is nothing but hold mode settling time. As soon as the circuit receives the hold command, the circuit should hold the value that means the capacitor should hold the value of voltage appears across it. So the hold mode settling time is defined as the time taken by the output voltage to settle within an error band is called as hold mode settling time. So after receiving the hold command output will take certain time to settle in the error band and that time period is nothing but the hold mode settling time. Error band can be 1% or it can be 0.1% or 0.01%. So depending upon which type of error band we are using, the output will take certain amount of time. The next parameter that we need to consider is nothing but hold step. When the operation of the circuit is get changes from sample mode to hold mode, then there will be some ch unwanted charge transfer from driver switch to a capacitor. This unwanted charge transfer from driver switch to capacitor is because of the parasitic capacitance associated with the switch due to which the output voltage is get changed and that change in the output voltage is called as hold step. So the hold step is because of the unwanted charge transfer which get transferred from switch to capacitor during switching from sampling mode to a holding mode. The next parameter that we need to consider is nothing but feed through. The next, the next parameter that we need to consider is nothing but feed through. Due to the stray capacitance of the switch, some amount of AC coupling is takes place between input and output. 
because of the AC coupling, the output voltage is get changes or it get vary slightly. And that change in the output voltage is called as feed through. The next parameter is nothing but voltage drew. As non-ideal capacitors are used in the circuit, then during hold mode, the value present on capacitor is not remain constant. It get decreases by a certain value or by a certain amount. And that decrease in the output of capacitor or voltage on capacitor during holding mode is called as voltage drew. So these are the certain parameters that we need to consider for measuring or judging performance of sample and hold circuit. So on the basis of this parameter, we can use sample and hold circuit for various applications. That means they can be used in analog to digital converter, they can be used in pulse modulation system, or they can be used in analog multipliers and many other circuits. So this is what about the performance parameter of sample and hold circuit. So I hope you understand the topic of performance parameter of sample and hold circuit. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.